Oh, there's a house. It's an American flag, so I guess we're in uh, America somewhere. Oh, we got more uh, more claw marks. Oh, fuck. Is he close? Let's bait the fuck out of this house. That's what we'll do. And if we hear beeping, like a... Uh... Bigfoot, he's right here. Actually, he is right there! Oh, he got me through the window! Wait for him to come to the door. What's up, Pikachu? What's up, buddy? Come more in the house. Come more in the house. Bud. What are you doing, pal? It didn't even beep on me. This makes me think of the time, just sitting in this little cabin. There was a time my, my buddy, his family, and I, we all went down to this, this state park, right? And we stayed in a cabin. And it wasn't my first time down there. It was actually like my second or third, something like that. I, I've been down there before. And it was supposed to be fun. Like, we were both like really excited. We brought the Wii there too, so at night we could be like grinding Wii stamps and, you know, like playing Wii sports and whatnot. But anyway, we get to this cabin. It's in the middle of fucking nowhere. Which is, most of the part, good. Not when you can't tell where the goddamn driveway is. And the driveway looked like it was going right through somebody's property. And their sign on their front property says, uh, Trespassers will be shot. So we're off to a great start. No clue where we are. And we're, we're, we're like, fuck it, we gotta send it, right? So we go down this road. And eventually, it is that we, we, we get there, we're in the right spot. We start unloading. Cabin looks nice. It's fine. It has a weird smell to it. Was the one thing I noticed right away. But it's it's whatever, right? It's it's a cabin in the woods. It's going to smell like bugs and forest stuff. So we're staying in the cabin. We're all having a good time or whatever. And then nighttime comes. And the way it laid out is there were only three beds. And there was my friend, his sister, and her fiancé. At the time. I don't even think they were married at the time. Or engaged. Whatever. And then his mom. So I took one of the beds. He took one of the beds. His sister and fiance took one of the beds. And his mom was on the couch. And we're all like signing off for bed. Whatever. Good night. And I'm laying in bed. And it's pitch fucking black. There's not even like the faint light from a car going by. You're not going to see it. It's pitch black. And I'm like. This is fine to sleep, but like it's almost too dark. So I'm lying awake, sometimes going on my phone when I can because there's no, there's literally zero signal or anything like that. I'm laying in bed, and all of a sudden something falls on my forehead, and I like squirm and I flick my head and I whip it off. And I flick the light on. It's a goddamn centipede. A fucking centipede just happened to fall right on my forehead. Don't know why it was directly above me. On the ceiling or whatever, but it just decided out of anywhere it could have just plopped onto the floor to fall right on my head. I was like, nope, fuck that. So I played my, I played my, uh, my, on my phone like all night long after that point. I was like, fuck that, that's enough. And occasionally we would hear something like, you might, well, we'll try this. And we're like, what the fuck is that? I'm like, what the hell is that noise? Like, it's not the dog, because they brought their dog. It wasn't the dog. He was he was sound asleep. Well, I thought it was like I thought it was like my buddy like trying to fuck with me or like fuck with somebody or like doing something. I didn't even know. Who's here? He set off the things. Story time, I have to wait. Come in here. What are you doing? I don't know if that was a good idea. Fuck. Oh, he did a number. Okay. Uh, wow.
Let's not set that one off this time, asshole. Okay, we just, he, he just smoked us for a second there. Where, where was I with my story? So we're, I'm laying there and I keep hearing this like... Like noises, like screwing around. And it wasn't the dog, it wasn't my friend, it wasn't his mom, it wasn't his sister or anything. They weren't fiddling around or anything. So, I'm like, what the fuck is that? We wake up the next morning, and I ask if they heard anything about it. And they did. They, they all heard... Uh, everybody heard it. And I was like, okay, so it wasn't just me. Now my thought process is somebody from the outside that we don't know is fucking with us. They're running up to the cabin, knocking on the windows or whatever. And they're just being little shitheads, right? Well, I was so wrong because we wake up and my, his, his friend's, my friend's mom says that the couch smelled weird. And we're all like, the fuck you mean by that? So I'll take a whiff, and it smells like piss. And it smells like straight pee. And it was... And we, again, we don't think anything of it. Well, we kind of don't think anything. We're like, oh, this is disgusting. But other than that, we really don't think anything of it. The day goes on, and we're trying... We're like going to cook something in the oven. And we find... We find fucking chicken nuggets... We didn't bring chicken nuggets. We don't have chicken nuggets. So that raises the question. When the fuck did the chicken nuggets get there? How long have they been in the oven? And why did they just forget about their goddamn chicken nuggies? When we look behind the nuggies, we find what look to be rat droppings. Like mouse shit. Which answers the question, what the hell was the running around in the house? There's fucking mice. Now at this point, I don't even want to go to bed. This is night two. I don't even want to go to bed. We were there two nights. And, uh... Yeah, it was, it was two nights, two and a half day. Like, we got there the first day. All day the next day. And then left the day after that. And y'all stayed? Let me get to that. So, it it's, not, it's day two. We're going about our day, doing whatever. It, the, the days were fine. But then nighttime rolls around. Oh shit! You're not supposed to be out here! Why are you here? You're not supposed to be outside. What the fuck are you doing? Come on, reload the gun! What the fuck? Oh, hey! Leave me alone! I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead. Am I gonna die? Heal up, heal up, heal up, leave me alone! No! Fuck! Ow! Leave me the fuck alone, dude. Dude, reload the fucking thing. <sighs> Where the fuck was I in my damn story before we got rudely interrupted? The night, second night rolls around. My buddy and I, we decide we're going to try to stay up throughout the night. We're going to play the Wii all fucking night. I mean, that sounds great. Like That sounds so fun. So... We fired up the Wii. We had this guy that we were both working on together. Uh, I don't even remember. We, I don't even remember what the hell we called him. It was a different. It was a certain me that we like wanted to get all the stamps with. But anyway, we had this guy, and we're working on him. We're trying to get all the stamps. And I doze off for like ten minutes. You know, it's late at night. I took a little nappy. Corey, uh, he didn't think I was waking up, so he goes off to bed. I don't blame him, but I wake up within the ten minutes, like I said. And then, uh, I'm all alone now. So it, it's middle of the night. I'm all alone. Mind you, since we decided to stay up all night, uh, his mom 
took the bed that I would have been on. So if I am to go to sleep, I am now on the couch. The couch that smells like piss or the recliner, which I chose the recliner. Fuck the couch that smells like pee. I ain't doing that shit. So here I am on this recliner playing the Wii. It's all night. I played the Wii all night. I got like a hella, hella stamps too. So like I did my goal. But like it was a long night. And the whole night. I kept seeing the little fuckers scurry along the floor. I saw them like scurry along the, the rafters and shit. I was seeing these goddamn mice. And then... Like, like, I'm seeing these mice. I'm seeing the fucking, like, centipedes and shit. This is disgusting. Finally, the morning comes. People start waking up. I've been awake the whole time. I'm not... I don't want to say fed up. Oh, shit. I didn't even think about this. I don't want to say fed up, but I'm tired. Like, it's, it's really... It's really... I'm just exhausted. So, I... I would get ready to leave. They take their good old fucking time. Whatever. And the road trip comes. We finally close our stuff up. Get in the car. We get out of there. We're driving down the highway. We're heading towards home. It's about a two hour drive to get back home or something like that. But we have to stop for gas on the way. No biggie, right? We're about an hour in. We have to stop for gas. So theoretically, chat, you might do the math. If it's a two hour drive and we're about an hour in. That would leave an hour left. Not when his mom is the one driving. Because this asshole starts going the other way and didn't notice for an hour, or for a half hour, excuse me. She didn't notice for a half hour. Now mind you, I'm trying to sleep. I can't sleep, so don't blame me. I haven't slept in hours. Over a day at this point. But neither him or his mom notice that we haven't been going the right way for the last half hour. So it adds another hour on top of the hour we had left to go back the other direction and then keep getting back on the path. So a two hour drive turned into a three hour drive. I was not happy. Oh, I was so pissed. But, uh, god damn. That was, that was a nightmare. And that's what this map kind of makes me think of. Or at least the cabins, I should say. They make me think of that horrible, horrible time in that cabin. 